did Dave Grohl just leak his own signature Epiphone guitar? I don't know, but welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily and your cheeks look so cute today. I just want to pinch them. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not here to talk about your cheeks. I'm here to talk about some hot gossip, some speculation, something that now, let's be honest, it's probably going to happen, and that is the Dave Grohl signature Epiphone. Now, it's undeniable that Dave Grohl is one of the biggest living rock stars. Though he first came to fame as the drummer in Nirvana, he's made a name for himself as the front person of one of the biggest modern rock bands, the Foo Fighters. He's even drummed with like the Queens of Stone Age, and like he's just an all around prodigy of a musician. And the Foo Fighters, they are huge. They headline festivals like Coachella. They have hit songs, or I don't know if they've had a hit song in a while, but they're huge rock stars. They play arenas. And Dave Grohl's go-to guitar, as most Foo Fighter fans know, is his 1967 Trini Lopez. He's even described it as, quote, the sound of the Foo Fighters. And that's pretty high acclaim. So nowadays, he's not seen with the Trini Lopez as much, understandable as quite a valuable guitar. Uh, he's pictured more now with his signature Gibson model, the DG335, which is heavily based on his Trini Lopez. So Trini Lopez guitars, they came out in about 1964. They are a signature model of a guitarist named Trinidad Lopez III. I think the third. Doubt. But the thing about these Trini Lopez guitars is that they're expensive. <laughs> if you want one, it's really, really hard to find one in general and at a good price that's pretty much impossible, even for the reissues. Even those sell for well over $6,000. An original can probably sell for 20, I don't know. I haven't shopped for vintage guitars in a long time because uh, it's it pains me to think about paying more for something than a lot of people pay for a down payment on a house. So Dave Grohl's signature, that seems like it would be, you know, relatively affordable. Not so much. They were sold in two limited batches, and even those go for ex exorbitant amounts of money, probably $6,000 or more. Again, like, it's just, they're expensive guitars. And if you want one, you really don't have a ton of choices. And they are such good-looking guitars. They have that Firebird headstock versus the Gibson, you know, scrolly open book type of thing. And instead of the scrolly F holes that we are used to seeing on an ES-335, which is what the Trini Lopez is based on, it has these diamond shaped F holes. This is a hot guitar. It looks really cool. And you're going to turn heads when you play it because it's just those little unique things about a guitar really attract guitarists. It's like catnip. So what do you do if you want one of these kinds of guitars, but uh, you just can't afford it? Um, well, you have a couple of options. The first one is the Emily Wolf Signature Epiphone Sheraton. That, that has the normal Sheraton headstock, the normal Epiphone Sheraton headstock. I'm not a big fan of Epiphone headstocks, but it does have those diamond-shaped F-holes. The other option that... Pe that <sighs> I feel weird recommending this. It's I, it's so weird that this exists. I mean, Eastwood Guitars, they make a lot of copies. Some of them are better than others. Like they have a copy of Prince's Mad Cat Telecaster. It's supposed to be nice, but I, the pick guard's totally wrong. That's, I stand by it. The, their version of the Gibson Dave Grohl 335 signature is pretty spot on. It has the same headstock. Uh, it has the diamond shaped F holes. It's in Pelham blue. It's called, I gotta look, I gotta look over at this one. The 6HBTL. I'm sorry, the Eastwood Classic 6HBTL in Pelham blue. It's pretty much an exact copy and it's 800 bucks. I think the Epiphone Sheraton, the Emily Wolf, is the same price. But what about an official Epiphone model? Not just a Sheraton with like one cosmetic upgrade. It's been speculated for a while. There have been rumors about it, but until recently, there's really been no proof. First, Gibson had a Q&A with their interim CEO, and he was asked directly about um, getting a DG335 core model or Epiphone model, and he responded simply, okay. Okay. 
okay, what does okay mean? Is it like, okay, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Or is it like when I was a kid and asked an adult if I could do something or have something, uh, can I, can I? And they would say, I don't know, can you? Is it that kind of okay to the can I question? Or is it like actually like, yeah, we're, we're doing that. <laughs> so like that seemed to kind of lean in the direction of, yeah, we'll do it but wasn't quite there until I saw a picture. Someone said this to me. Um, the NME Magazine Instagram had a picture of the Foo Fighters where Dave is playing, or at least holding, what looks like his signature Gibson. Until you look at the headstock. It's the right shape, but it doesn't say Gibson on it. It says Epiphone, Epiphone. Now, is this proof that we are definitively getting this guitar? It's not. <laughs> That's the problem. What's, what's happened before is artists have gotten prototypes for signature guitars that have just ultimately never happened for one reason or another. Um, maybe something bad, uh, like for lack of a better word, politically happened with that artist. Like Ryan Adams was going to have a signature Fender and he posted pictures of it, but obviously that never happened. I don't think that's going to happen to Dave, but it's still not a guarantee. Just seeing it, it's not a guarantee that it's going to happen. I hope it happens. Uh, selfishly, I really want one. I like the Foo Fighters. They were one of my first favorite rock bands. My first childhood crush was Taylor Hawkins, Rest in Peace. Um, and I would love to get my hands on a quality, affordable guitar that has that Trini Lopez look, and I know I'm not alone. You, you don't have to be a Dave Grohl fan to think this guitar is hot, because it is. And uh, right now it's just, it's out of most people's price ranges. I would love to see this guitar get into the hands of people who are, you know, learning or just somebody who has always wanted that look and just hasn't been able to afford it and doesn't really want to go the Eastwood route. Because to be frank, Eastwood quality varies a lot and uh, it's just kind of hard to super duper recommend those guitars without playing one first. And I have several Eastwoods and I've done work with Eastwood, so take with that what you will. So what do you think? Is this proof that we are getting that Dave Grohl signature Epiphone, the Epiphone DG335 or whatever they're gonna call it? I don't know, maybe. Just let me know in the comments if you think it's gonna happen. Let me know in the comments if you would get one. Please like, comment, subscribe for more guitar and general music content. Uh, but to everybody out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Keep pinching those cheeks because I can't do it myself. My name is Emily. Goodbye.